Hello, and welcome to Mail Time in a different room. Trying something a little new. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we're not monthly anymore, welcome to the new regime of shorter, more frequent Mail Time question mark? Wherever we can possibly film them. In it, this case... It will be shorter. Will it be more frequent? Uh, no. No? Okay. I, I, I mean, it could be. We have... I just looked Has at what we had. Has it been so far? We don't know yet, because we don't know when this episode airs. It feels like it's been more frequent, despite the, despite the fact we've never done them monthly, because yeah. it's always been like every two months. Yeah. They actually have become monthly. Hmm. Well, so that's let's nice. just keep calling it mail time. Cool. And hope for the best. We're also filming in here so we can shoot at a higher resolution for greater goofs in post. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Look at this. I have a postcard. Greetings from Gabriella on the Viking line. Check it out. This is the other new innovation. This other camera over here, as opposed to... Don't worry about it. Yeah. He oh, gosh. Uh, I want to say that this says hello from Stockholm. It says... He he Hedgesan from, from Stockholm? Sure. Sure. I think you're supposed to say the A, but your mouth has to be shaped like an O. That's what the O on top means. Thrown. He he Hedgesan yeah, from so. Stockholm? I think so. Or from a boat coming from there. This time I went to Zodiac Killer Escape Room. Didn't get killed. Good. Saw exhibits and had very adult vacation. I want to have an adult vacation. BTW, does LRR have doctors working in PR or HR department? <laughs> Just one of the love doctors. Yeah. P.S. If you take sketch ideas, Krog meets primitive technology. Which is funny, because I've already written that down in our, in yeah, our thing. I yeah. just haven't figured out a way to make it work yet. Thank you. Thank you. We have here another postcard. Uh, Dear Doctors Lur, greeting from a Discord user. I hope that this physical incarnation of our inexplicable meme finds you well. Crapfully yours, Kalalara. There's the meme. Now we have one of our own. This is an emote on our Discord, I believe. I was unaware of that. It's certainly an emote on the mod slack. It sure as hell showed up in my in my in the PO box, and I looked at it, being like, "What is this going to entail?" It's a firm butt. I'm gonna open up this package. I'm gonna open up an omen. Oh no, that's a real thick omen. Yeah, thick omen. Omens ain't been so thick yet. Why that one so? Th is it just? Is it the box that all of the cards now go in? It's on. Maybe it's on very nice paper. Whoa! There's parcels. What the? Hey oh, guys. Goodness. Love your magic content. Here's three more packs for your crack a pack pile. <laughs> this set comes with nine commons, three uncommons, and two rares in each pack. Not a bad payout if I do say so myself. Are we supposed to open these now? I don't know. They say they're for the crack a pack. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we know what's in them. Do we? These are the different size than the tarot cards, aren't they? I, well, maybe because the paper's thick. I'm... Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just. Leave those there and wait on that then. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, ah, it's more Keyforge. Oh, it's a whole, it's a whole ass box of Keyforge. Age of Ascension, two hundred and four new cards and an inconceivable number of new decks. It's more Keyforge, which will be handy when we play more Keyforge. Cool. Thank you. Is I assume PMA verse. Is it a new series at this point? Because it's a blue box. Yeah, it's Keyforge Age of Ascension, Ascension. Yeah. which I believe is different from Keyforge. Can you use those with the... Obviously, it's part of the same system, but Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Age of Ascension features 204 new cards. Yeah. Okay. Neat. That is cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. We've been having fun playing Keyforge. I would definitely expect us to play more of it. I have something shipped by Royal Mail. Ooh, that means it's from England, probably. With no return address, and I just opened it without actually thinking about that. Oh, that's fine. It is for mail time, so that's good. Ah, uh, the note. The note. The note. I would never remove the joy of reading the note. Dear Doctors Lur, I am a longtime fan of yours and have enjoyed all that you've done over the years. From watching the latest Escapist content with friends around the D&D &D table, mm. that must be distracting, Yeah. to streaming the Twitch content on my TV at home, you've all produced great things to make me laugh and think. Thank you. I particularly enjoy watching Talking Simulator and have been loving the return of long play streams and Play It Forward. Yay! Yay! Good. I can't wait to get on there, let me tell you. Me too. As I spend a lot of time away, brackets or parentheses, electrician on cruise ships, 
Oh, that's a hard road. Wow. Wow. I hope your trips are uneventful. It's great to be able to binge watch shows when I come home. Anyway, as is tradition, I've enclosed some local sweets from Wigan, UK. Maybe Wigan? Wigan? Produced by the same family here for over 100 years. I know my mouth is watering for Uncle Joe's mint balls. I'm sorry, Uncle Joe's handmade mint balls. <laughs> they keep you aglow, is that what it says? Keep you all aglow. Uh -huh. Uncle Joe's handmade, yep, it's all, it's three packs of it. Oh, and sugar, good, good, sugar-free mint balls. Just in case you found mint balls were a little too calorically intense. Just a little something to say thanks for all you do and have done. Keep up the good work. Anthony, or Piratical Tendencies. Oh, nice. They're hand-cooked in open fires. <laughs> Should they be? That sounds... Mean you just that fucking... sounds <laughs> dangerous. It sounds dangerous. My mint balls. Ah, my balls. This is the best Uncle Joe's ever looked. Ooh, this is a board game. Oh, good. This... What is this? What is this? This is... Oh, yeah! Die Quacksailor von Quedlinburg. The Quacks of Quedlinburg. So this one, the, um, this one, the big thing, the Sphere de Jars, or whatever it's called. It's, uh, there's a, there it is. The Kennerspiel de Jar. It's apparently quite good. I mean, it was, it's an award winner, and it's a recent one, too. Ta-da! Cool. I'm looking forward to it. I hope that we can find English instructions somewhere. Or English game pieces, because it looks like the whole thing is not... Great. Oh, boy. Just... Great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's going to be a long AFK. Oh, boy. Well, thank you. Do, 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 do. Hey, if I recall correctly, Canada Post knows how to make these things work. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like it was designed to happen. I feel like I picked the wrong side. I'm just going to end up getting biffed by you. <laughs> just... What? Hang on. That's a lot of QR codes. It's QR codes on top of what look like magic cards, and they're labeled with groups. There's and a lot of notes. There's three notes that say, read me, recipe, and I give up. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I don't know. Well, go ahead. Read me. Dear Doctor, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, enjoy your ransom letter. This is every font. That's a lot of work. I want to start off by thanking you for all that you do. Letter originality be damned. I want to thank LRR for being a part of my life for a decade. It has been a consistent source of laughs, new things to watch and share, more importantly recently with the Discord server community. Quick shout out to the folks in hashtag Nintendo that have participated in the game days I've organized. My friend showed me the sketch Just Drive from season seven, but I didn't start watching regularly until later that year with A Stitch in Time, which is still one of my favorites. I don't remember when I started following your other videos, but I will say my favorite daily drop was without question, the pudding condom. That was definitely Kathleen's greatest contribution to the daily drop. I have a couple things for you. A few months ago, I discovered my current favorite trivia show, Only Connect. I have not written trivia questions, but seeing it, I couldn't help but try making my own in their format. So the first thing I've sent along are a bunch of groups I've come up with, one labeled if you want to look at one now. This is how they work. Skip ahead to the next paragraph, the next thing. Each has four seemingly random clues that all share a connection you want to guess. They are revealed in order, one at a time, and the earlier you guess correctly, the more points you get. We're gonna look into this later, but thank you for all of these QR codes. Okay, interesting, sure. All right, second is a recipe that means a lot to me. Last February, my grandmother passed away. My family knew it was coming before she passed, and my mom collected many of her recipes in a cookbook to remember her by. I, in turn, would like to share one of those recipes with you. As much as I miss her apple pie, I've included a recipe for her Chinese buta miso. It won't be exactly what she made, as all family recipes have special adjustments, but I hope you enjoy it. Consider this my not obligatory uh, candy, cookie, sugar, coffee replacement. Thanks for all you do, Matthew Unpronounceable Lee. Huh. P.S. I know Graham isn't a fond of papyrus, but I couldn't remember which fonts he does like, so I hope he likes at least one of these. <laughs> yeah, every, every single word is a different font. Every word is a different font. How did, that seems like a pain in your ass. Yeah. Congratulations. Or they have a script maybe that, grab a random font. Yeah. Oh, well, I wish I'd read this one first. 
The, the one that says I give up is just another copy of the letter, but it's all in this. It's all in one font. Oh, so if you just gave up in the middle of reading it. Yeah, it's a lot easier to read. That's very cute. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate it. All right, what you got there? I've got uh, something from, uh, it's local. It's local? In fact, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's from BC, so. I just saw one of the things that was inside it. Yeah, Dear Doctors LRR, is this Graham or Beach? Good it's guess. Beach. I have been following you for seven years now. Wow, that is a surprising length of time. I have found you through your Friday night's videos as I had just started to play Magic around that time. I have enjoyed tons of your content over the years, and I can't believe how much you've grown and added stuff over the years while staying very grounded and friendly. Thank you. In particular, your recent adventures in tabletop RPGs has inspired me to finally join a few groups of my own. And one day I too hoped to run a Ravnican campaign. Awesome. Nice. I live in Vancouver and have seen you all at GP Van a few times, but always been too shy to say hi. Oh, please do say hi. I have social anxiety, and as a result, I don't even participate much in chat, even though your community seems very lovely and welcoming. Thank you. Please do say hi if you feel up to it. Yeah. I thought that sending this letter would be a great chance to express my appreciation for your content and your diverse cast. Each and every one of the Loading Ready Run members brings something different and special to the team, and I love getting to watch the interactions between all of you. Now on to the contents of this package. I recently caught up on all the VODs of Loading Ready Live, having never been able to catch it live, and I really enjoyed seeing you all try out different forms of improv. Oh, I realized great. this card game... Well, we're gonna have to unpack that in in weird order, I have a feeling. Is it this one? I think it's that one. This card game would be great, a great fit for you all since you're all very funny and quick-witted folks. It's designed by a local pair of game designers over here in Vancouver who I have met and learned to play the game with. It's an improv storytelling game. In it, you are dealt a, series, a set of cards with phrases and you use those phrases to build a cult because the game is called Cult. It's called Cult Following. Oh, Cult Following. The one true game. Which you will attempt to gain followers for. Potential recruits are given a few possible questions to ask cultists and then make their decision on which cult to join. I've included their newly released expansions, which add some extra phrases and questions to the mix. I know there are no promises on playing a game on stream, but I do think this would be right up your alley. The expansions are called Cult Classics and Not Safe for Worship. Cute. Nice. Cool, thank you. I've also included a couple of magic packs for hey. the box. Theros and Dragon's Maze, and uh, you've labeled them. They're both from around the time I started playing the game. Finally, since I don't have any unique sweets to send you, since we are geographically so close, I thought I would send some, oh, oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. Oh. Coffee! Hey, coffee, ooh. I've never heard of Timber Train. No. Neither have I. I work in an area blessed by amazing coffee shops, and I have sent I have sent one pack of beans from my favorite local shop. I hope they are appreciated, not consumed in excess. West Cordova Street in Vancouver. Well, I, heck. <laughs> I've also included some odd-looking sweets and snacks from TNT. Man, I'm so jealous you have a TNT. Since their packaging amused me, and I'm hoping it will amuse you too. I'm opening this right now because I love Nobel Super Lemon. I was hoping to get this at some point. What is this? This is chicken. Uh, instant ramen. This is instant ramen? That's instant ramen, if I remember correctly. Hot chicken flavor. And it's not the volcano one that was advertised in all the Japanese ones. It's, it's that's Korean on the front, but, uh, yeah. You sure this is instant ramen? This looks like it's... Oh, maybe they're, they're flavored like, because you can get this as a ramen flavor. Okay, it maybe looks like chips. this is a snack. I think it is a snack. I really want this, I'm going in. Store in a cool, dry place, avoid direct sunlight. Anyway, yours truly, Alaria. Thank you. Thank you, Alaria. Oh, super lemon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll have one of those. Ah. You know what I want is the super ume. Oh. The VTEC just kick in. Mm. 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 Yes. <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh. Woo. Okay, I'm pushed through the other side. Now it's just delicious. Oh, and the years keep coming and they don't stop coming. Yep. Woo. You got another couple seconds yeah, there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Refreshing. Oh, oh now it's <gasps> so good. What is this? <laughs> what? What, what? What is this? It's like my favorite side character from Spirited Away. Oh, hmm. it's a plushy, the big bird man, but that's it. It doesn't even say who it's from. Or if there's, it was intended for somebody. There's no note or anything. Spirited away, Otori-sama. Mm -hmm. They're just big bird. 
Oh, Tori. Okay. Is he a beanbag? Kinda. Nice. That's great. Okay. Hey, thank you, whoever sent this. He's so cute, and I love him. And you want to protect him. I do. Yeah. I want to know what's in there. Yeah, me too. We grabbed these at the we grabbed these at the uh, post office very recently. In fact, we were all surprised by how heavy this one was. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there are. Tins. I thought that was shaped like a long box. <laughs> now it says mail time on the front. Yeah. Uh, and. Oh my God. Oh, the letter is inside me all along. The real letter was the friends we made along the way. These are so delicious once you get past the initial death part. Mm -hmm. It's very refreshing. When, to once have your that, soul returns to your body, they're wonderful. To have that first moment of just kind of like, wham, I'm like, yes, I feel this. Dear Doctor's Lures, probably Graham and or Beach. This is a very, um, uh, this is several things in the letter. We, we may have to summarize. I apologize in advance for my verbosity. This will likely be a rather long letter. It will be divided into two sections. Section one contains a part I would like you to read on camera if possible. Section two is not. Oh, well, there we go. Section one. Hello, my name is Morgan, and I've been a Lure fan for 13 or 14 years. Wow, not, thank you. Not kidding. Wow. I've discovered you guys mid-season two, introduced by a friend of mine as you were a local group. We are from Vancouver. Oh. From the start, I was hooked. I hoovered every piece of content you all made for years, though the ability to do that is now beyond me simply due to the sheer volume of it. We do create a lot of stuff. Not complaining, no. they say. I have smiled, laughed, and sometimes cried over the years alongside you all, and I kind of feel like I know many of you personally, sometimes better than people I've met face to face many times. Hmm. I've even played Temple of the Lava Bears with Jer in 2008, I think, at Anime Evolution in Vancouver. Oh, cool. With all that in mind, I've written e you each a compliment, so feel free to pass these along to each member or simply read them out. Great. I will read them out. Uh, no, you don't have to read one for everybody. Sure. Well, yours is, what can I even say? You are an amazing person, an inspiration to me and so many others, who is funny, kind, caring, witty, humble, and has truly made the world a better place by being in it. Kudos. Thank you, that's so kind. Now, you can read mine to me, I guess, only to be I fair. Will. Your energy and vociferousness, probably not unrelated to your background in improv, bring a great br breath of air when they show their heads. Your dry pan crazy person is great, too. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. It's very nice of so you. So what is this? So this, and this package is a gift, the details of which I will soon explain. I really, really, really hope you like it. It took me ten, possibly hundreds of hours to make. At current count, about 150 hours for me and probably 25 for my very supportive partner. Beach may remember me for my first attempt to give it to you all at Shucks 2018. I was the crazy girl on the Saturday who gave you a thing, then cried, then hung around your table for way too long. I'm somewhat embarrassed, but I'd do it all over again if I could. I hope the contents of this package bring you joy and maybe even joy to others outside you someday. Sorry, no treats, we're from Vancouver. Nothing would be new to you anyway. Onwards to the description of the contents. This package contains a Robo Rosewater Cube. I did the following. Took all of the syntactically correct cards from the Twitter and some from the forums. They have this many syntactically correct cards? I guess. Found art for all the cards. Wow. Gave sources for the artwork and all the cards. I even included links to their online presence you if they had one. You did not. Yeah, That's job. amazing. Paired them down into 360 usable cards. I realized I really should have done this the step before the previous two. <laughs> That's a good point. Made. Custom tokens for all cards that generated tokens. Wow. Made custom lands so the lands would be indistinguishable from the, indistinguishable from the spells by feel. Okay. Printed the cards, sleeved them with actual cards to make them look real-ish. The set symbol is the word fake, though no, so no one could ever confuse them for real cards. Divided them into packs with equivalent power distribution and put them in a box. Oh, uh, this card sucks. <laughs> what, what is it? And two and a red for an, a zero one elf soldier. That's it. That's all it is. It just stands there. Also, red for elves? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. There are no spiders in the box, however, there's a couple spider creatures in the cube. This is ready to draft any time, as opposed to my previous version, which only uh, contained image files and thus would have required a lot of work on your part. It's a full cube, so you could draft with up to eight people. I even verified the playability with a couple actual magic judges on your Discord and a dr draft with people who knew as little about magic as I do, who are immensely helpful with this whole thing. I can't believe it's actually technically playable. Honestly, I could talk for literally days about this. You sound like you spent literally days on this. And have to other people who are sick of hearing about it. If possible, I'd just like you to tell me if this is something you're interested in and if there's any chance you'll use it. It was made with all of you in mind and you have no idea how much it would mean to me. I swear I'm not trying to be annoying with these instructions. <laughs> I basically just want to hear back from you as soon as possible because I'm very excited about this. In case you couldn't tell, it's a lot of work. 
I've included a sample pack of a much less nice first print run for you to open on mail time, or on Crack a Pack. It's the one with the pink tab. Mm -hmm. I have that. Okay. Uh, it contains cards that were eventually cut from the set, and thus no spoilers in case either of you ends up playing it. You can also open it on TTC if you want. Cool. Do you want to put it in? Yeah, let's put it in the Cracker Pack for, for Tap Tap. Sweet. Also, please let anyone, anyone who's interested know they can join my Discord, uh, where they can download all the card images and the original MSE files for themselves. I'll be in hand to answer any questions anyone has about the cube. Anyone from Lur can feel free to contact me there or at the email below for anything to do with this cube. Their Discord is below. So well, as always, there are no promises, but I, I'm... I think this is something we're going to have to very, very seriously consider doing. <laughs> so thank Holy you moly, very, thank yeah. you. Thank you very much, Morgan. Thank um, you, Morgan. That's your, astonishing. Your username on everything is Shadow Fire Law. Cool. So hopefully we will see you around in places. Thank you very much. Now. What the? Did you just keep getting stuff with no note? A gift from Aaron. Is, it, is, it, is this the gift? Now, exactly how... <laughs> how were we supposed to have gotten these out of that bubble mailer if we didn't... Oh, you know what? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for these knives. Yes. Next time, uh, take them out of the package, open them up, Nope. Lock them in place and then ship them. That way they'll make their way out of the package ah, themselves. Ah, ah. I mean, these were sent from Amazon, so ah, okay. I don't think they would do that. Also, don't do that. Don't never do that. Never ship us raw knives. The knives are fucking raw. Before we move on, sorry. A gift note from Aaron. Seems like you need better utility knives. So these are the blades for the... I don't know why they sent them. For our Ulfa. For our yeah. Ulfa knives. So, uh, thank you, Aaron. What I need to do is I need to just bust off the end of this one and make my way down the... That's what you're supposed to do, yeah. Yeah, but I... The thing is, I'm afraid of doing it, because I'm afraid every time I try to do it, I'm going to end up with a knife in my eye. Like, how... No, 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 dude. How do you do it? You... Wait. Oh, this one doesn't have... A knife buster? Yeah, what the fuck? This one, yeah, right. You pull this thing off, mm -hmm. and you extend it, and you put it on the end. Wait, there it is. You put it on the end, and then you snap it, and you're ready to go. Yeah. Now it's better and sharper. This doesn't. Isn't there supposed to be a thing? No, I don't know how you bust the end off these. Right. That's where I'm flummoxed. Is I'm like I don't know what you pull off to make the thing snap. All right. But it did. There we go. Great. Hold up. What's this? Oh, that's the one from the other knife. Okay, good. Cool. Okay. <laughs> where, did, where did that smaller blade come from? From inside the larger blade? Yeah. And if the larger blade is and the smaller blade are next to each other, wasn't the larger blade just cut the smaller blade? Don't cut with me or my son ever again. I have opened this, but I'm going to wait because Beach is next. Mm-hmm. I was going to start telling people that they should, if they can't, if they need to provide a name, they should just put down Lars Gerhard. But I think that will just fuck up the postage system. That's going to be a problem at some point, yeah, right? So some, never, never at do some that. point, someone's going to be unable to pick up a package because Lars Gerhard isn't will, real. That we know of. Yeah. Everything is fine. Ah. The note. Sealed with more of the same duct tape. Cool. That's kind of neat. The note. Mm -hmm. The note. The note. An actual proper note. The, the note. note. The note. note. An actual the proper, proper note. note. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. What? Hello, Grand Beach. Okay. Oh, and by proxy, Ben. All right. It is I, everyone's favorite magical space adhesive and Z list comic book MacGuffin, coming at you with an expansion for Cosmic Encounter. Oh. Cosmic Dominion. Who'd have thunk, right? Yes, that's right. I went to a real physical store. I what? set the package myself instead of through an online retailer, all to ensure that this time you know who it's from and that note is actually included. Astounding. But I digress. I'm very glad that my prior gift of the 42nd anniversary has been enjoyed thus far in AFK. As such, you now have before you the fifth of the currently six Fantasy Flight Cosmic Encounter expansions, Cosmic Dominion. Mm. Well, yes, I'm not sending them in order, even though I had the actual opportunity, though not the fortune, to purchase and send you all the expansions at once. 
So why did I specifically send you Cosmic Dominion? Well, this is an expansion regarded as one of the better expansions among the six, featuring 30 new and well-regarded alien powers that were also designed with fan input. Do you want the power to win after establishing only one foreign colony? Yes. How about the power to play Go Fish? Yes. yes. Cosmic Dominion lets you do both of those things. Anything with a fishing minigame is on is down yeah. there, yeah. The expansion includes a rewards deck, which is full of some very zany cards not seen in the regular deck. Trust me, they're fun. Finally, this expansion doesn't come with any of the components to increase the player count beyond the base game, as I do not think that aligns with your streaming needs, as Ben has previously discussed. Hmm. Plus, as all the expansions predate, but are fully compatible with, the 42nd Anniversary Edition, all of the expansion player ships are opaque instead of translucent, like in Cosmic Encounter 42, hmm. for now, anyways. Cool. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this addition to the game. I thoroughly, I remain thoroughly overjoyed. I not only got to send you my favorite game, but that I got it played on AFK twice so far, and that is, it is enjoyed. I find that Great. sometimes introducing the game to people is hit or miss. Introducing anything to people can be hit or miss. Yeah. So I'm glad this has been a hit. Shout out, by the way, to Ben for being able to explain the rules of the game in basically the exact same way that I do, but better, even though I've been teaching this game for a fair bit longer than he has. Proud and in awe. Aw. Yeah, I'll pass this along to them. Nothing if not on brow with my screen name, Mackenzie, a.k.a. Cosmic Duct Tape. Ah! We should have seen that one coming. Mm-hmm. Considering the package is covered with Cosmic Duct Tape. tape. P.S. Give my love to BC's Real Proper Mountains trademark, for I miss them in my horizon and will continue to not shut up about it. Oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. Thank you so much. I like that this says the expansion is designed by... Jefferson Crow, Bill Martinson, Jack Rada, and the fans of Cosmic Encounter. What a great way to look at that. That it's like, we asked you for feedback, this is what you told us. Yeah, that's super cool. This last package comes to us from Shinagawaku in Tokyo. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> this is a letter. You should probably open it first. Maybe, I don't know, you do you. You know what, I will. Oh man, side-loading envelope. Or I guess top-loading if you're talking from Japan. Depends on which way you hold it. Dear Doctors Lord, probably Graham and Beach. First time caller and wanted to say thank you and please forgive the awful handwriting. Uh, the handwriting is actually, as handwriting goes, it is absolutely in the top echelons of legibility. Yeah. Um, you have an unnecessary E in the word awful and you spelled writing with two T's, so see me after class. You all have given me so much over the years that words cannot describe how happy I am to be a part of this community. I'm not much for words, so I'll keep it short. Thank you so much for making an old man laugh. From Brandon, AKA Kenoki. It's from Kenoki. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Ken. I didn't know your name was Brandon. Mm -hmm. I've always called you Kenoki. Hello, yeah, a AKA Ken Oki or Ken Oki 2 or Ken, whichever floats your boat from chat and the DB mod team. Well, thank you. I enclose our items from Japan, mostly sweets, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, I will, I'm excited. Oh, there's a whole, there's a whole list. Great, thank so. Goodness. When, what, the time of recording, uh, we have just about gotten through all of those amazing Kit Kats that Jacob brought back from his trip to Japan. Yeah, and we really went to town on them. So, perfect timing to receive a bunch more Kit Kats. Oh good, a refill. They what are numbered. Doing? Oh, they're in order. Oh, from left to right? What is it? These are uh, Hoji Cha. Which is? Number one, it is roasted tea. Correct. I'm gonna keep on quizzing you. Number two. I uh, mean, some of them have pictures that make it obvious, but I'm curious. Kuranberry and Amando. Uh, is the Kit Kat Chocolatory Cranberry and Almonds, that's number two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a pretty little dusting of stuff on it. I mean, there's cranberries and almonds on it, but I'm trying to actually read it. Strawberry Cheesecake. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> number three, strawberry cheesecake. What the fuck? Okay, this is 45th anniversary. Ichigo uh, Dirami. Oh, Ichigo Tiramisu. Uh, number four is strawberry tiramisu. Yes, a special limited edition flavor for 45 years of Kit Kat in Japan. That's so cool. Mmm. <laughs> it's a something pack. Yep. It's a, it's a, is it a variety pack? Hang on here. Kito Kato. Oh, that's a trademark. What the? This is the... Kito Sakura Sakuyo. This is the Kohaku pack. 
in reference uh, to the year-end music special they do in Japan for the last 69 years. Right, because you, you bet on red or white to win. And so these are the red packs or the white packs to win. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, these are the Otona ones. These are going to be matcha, almost certainly. It's noted here as adult sweetness. Yep, that's what the Otona no, that's, I'm going to assume that's Ame Sa. Great. But, yeah. The adult Kit Kats. Iokan, I've never heard oranges referred to as that way. This is going to be a mandarin orange of some sort? Mikan. Mandarin. It's just, it's just straight up uh, Mikan, okay. Yep, mandarin orange. Okay. Uh, this is another Otona sweetness, and this will be just strawberry. Uh, yeah. Kodawari no... Yep, Kodawari strawberry. Yeah. Uh, uh. This is less of a test of whether I can figure it out. I'm going to say chestnut, because these say chestnut. Oh, in English. Yeah, no Misu. Less. Yep. That's, I've never had the chestnut ones. That sounds awesome. Oh, look at these cute little buggers. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're little balls. Okay, so this is... Uh, uh, it's nuts and cranberry. Yeah, nuts and cranberry, yeah. And this is also nuts and cranberry with ruby chocolate. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah, that's the, the new hotness they do. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got two packs of magic cards in Japanese. We've got Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation. Oh, right, because he would have sent this before the um, uh, War of the Spark stuff, I think, might have... Well, these are through. these are from a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But if he had if, if he had sent us like a pack of War of the Spark, oh, the Japanese stuff, cracked oh, it for oh, a oh. for a Japanese lily. We've got a bag of Melty Kiss oh, Party. Yeah, I love Melty Kiss. Mmm, Melty Kiss. We've got a bag of High Chews. Nice. Everyone loves High Chews. It's a four uh, Yotsu no something Asero. And Genji pie. Genji pie is made from the finest ingredients of wheat flour, margarine, sugar, and more. This heart-shaped pie has been enjoyed since 1965. Why not make your tea time more delightful with Genji? Genji, heartwarming pie. I might. Ken says, a simple sugar cookie I enjoy. I feel like it's the kind of thing that's like, there's so much stuff in Japan where they're like, we've been making these for 300 years. I'm like, you've been making a lot of stuff for 300 years. There's so much traditional stuff. I think I know what's in there. Oh, what do you think is in here? This I, is this is for Ian specifically. This is a very special uh, tool. Uh-huh. Uh, this is a god hand. It is a god hand. It is a god hand. Yes. From Kotobukiya. Yep. Because Ken was telling us about how he was going to get a set for Alex, which he did. We were talking about this on Tinker Taylor, and so he... I, he said um, the God Hands are enclosed, but then he, then I found it from Alex that he, he sent a set to Alex. So this is for the Tinker Tailor set, and might if it's specifically for Ian, great. Yeah. Ian just got an amazing new tool. What is it? It's a set of nippers. It's just a particularly good snipper tool. Well, let me tell you why. Because most... These are for cutting sprues off of Gundams. Yes, and, yeah. the, and the reason why these are so good is because most nippers are two blades that have to meet. Right. And they're shaped like wedges, so when they meet, they do whatever. Those are generally don't tend to be very sharp. Right. And so they pinch the plastic, and the, pa the plastic pinches in the middle and then comes apart, and you get that weird discoloration. Right. What this does is it has an incredibly sharp blade with a, with a very flat edge. And the other side is an anvil. It's it's flat on the bottom, oh. so the blade goes all the way through. The other end can't go through anything. It goes all the way through and makes a clean cut all the way through, oh. and leaves you with a very flat surface. That's really cool. It's brilliant. Thank you so much, Ken. They're also very expensive. Oh wow! <laughs> so well. thank you very much, Ken. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. This was great. This was this felt this felt breezy and efficient and wonderful. Yeah. And I, I don't know who sent this, but I I love him. It's super cute. I love him so much. And all of these things. I've almost got through the lemon. Oh, I finished mine. Just in time to, well, I bit into mine. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, mm, yeah, we, listen to me chew. We've got a new German board game and a new uh, random magic cube. we got magic cards we can't read. we got a board game we can't read. we got a bunch of knives that we have no way to get out of the packaging. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Everything's great. We're going to go gorge ourselves on Kit Kat. Thanks, everybody, always, for your kind gifts and your kind words and for being great. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Mail Time. See you next time. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Hope I sound good. Can't sound any other way than this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only way that I can <laughs> sound. sound.